Hello, good evening. Good evening, Rafael. Good evening, Carlos. How are you? How do you feel? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good. So, good. What about you? Uh, I think that Carlos, what about you? I'm fine, teacher. Oh, good to see you. Okay, good to see I'm you. I'm fine, teacher. I, I, I'm a little tired, but okay. Okay. All right. Yes, I understand. Okay, so let's see. We also have Edwin, but he's connecting. Okay, so let me see. Okay, so did you enjoy this day? Did you celebrate or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Yeah, I think that Edwin, yeah. Okay, so good evening, Edwin. Good evening, teacher. How are you? How do you feel today? I'm fine, thank you. But I am oh. so tired too. You're tired? Oh my God. Yeah, I imagine. Right, well, but today is, well, we are still in, uh, today is Tuesday, right? Yes. Yes. I don't know, if, but, but um, it is true that it feels like Friday. I don't know why, but it feels like Friday, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But okay, guys, so let's see. We are going to start with today's class. And well, today, guys, we have different themes, okay? Um, today, we are going to start uh, with a warm-up, and this is about reading. Then we are going to move to grammar. And grammar, guys, is based on superlative additives, yeah? We also have the speaking time. We have listening quiz. We have grammar quiz. And we have the end of the class, Okay. So we are going to start with a reading and let's see. Okay, so this is about different countries, okay? Um, okay, let me see. Rafael, help us reading number one and two. Carlos eh, Dominguez, number three, okay? Edwin, please, four and five. And in this case, Walter, number six, okay? So help us reading, just the definition, okay? And we are going to see uh, later on. Just the definition? Yes, just this. Okay. Yeah. Okay, this place is a spiritual center for one billion people around the world, but with a population of only 7,000? Oh, 700. No, 700. 700. It is the smallest country in the world. Mm -hmm. And the second... A fast food meal in the capital city costs more than $8. A cup of coffee is the second biggest city, costs more than $7. Mm -hmm. There are some watermelons which cost $50. This is the most expensive country in the world. Yes. Very good. Thank you. Yes, perfect. Okay. This is this is the coldest place in the world where people lie. In winter, it is often uh, fighting. Eh? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Faring or lower. It's it is dangerous to go outside with with the lace two pairs of socks, two pairs of pants, a wear hat, two gloves at very well cut. In this country, salaries is more or less similar to salaries is the world nation, but because of the lack of personal taxes, the income usually much higher. This is the richest country in the world. Uh, yes. You're all right. Yes. Okay. Uh, the United States, Australia, and Qatar. It's a country. In this country, salaries are more or less similar. The salary is winter nation nations, but because of the lack of personal taxes, net income is usually much higher. This is the richest country in the world. Sweden, New Zealand, and Argentina. Mm -hmm. This country 
has one of the lower murder rates in the world. The local people have a lot of respect for foreigners and there are no political problems. This is the safest country in the world for travelers. Thank you. Uh, Walter, the last one, please. It takes about 15 days to drive from one side of this country to the other side. This plate is nearly 10 times bigger than Mexico. It is the biggest country in the world. Okay, guys, thank you. Okay, so guys, on number one, we have the Vatican, Monaco, and Tuvalu. So it says that this place is a spiritual center for 1 billion people around the world, but the with a Vatican. population of only 700, okay? It is the, the Vatican. Vatican. The Vatican. Yes. So the Vatican is the smallest country in the world. Yeah. That is correct. What about number two? What do you think number two is? The United uh, States. Uh, yeah, we have uh, the United States, Japan, and Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Okay, are you sure? It says a fast food, a fast food meal in the uh -huh. capital city costs more than eight dollars, and a cup of coffee in the second uh, in the second biggest city costs more than seven dollars. There are some watermelons which cost fifty dollars. This is the most expensive country in the world. The most expensive country. What is it? Sorry, uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Well, in this case, guys, the most expensive country in the world is Japan. Japan is the most expensive country. Really? Yeah. Um, I see uh, uh, I have a seen video of Japan and that's not is that really? expensive. Mm -hmm. So only some things. Yeah, some like, things. Right? Yeah, like watermelons, for yeah. example. Those are really expensive. True. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so then we have number three, okay? This is the coldest, the coldest place in the world where people live. Iceland. Okay, Iceland, Greenland. Yeah, oh, Greenland, Greenland. Greenland, okay, so, um, all right. So this one is Yakusha. Okay, in Yakusha. English is Yakusha, Siberia. Okay, and yeah, that is the answer. Yeah, that is correct. Yakusha. That is correct. That is the coldest place. What about number four? This is the richest, the richest country. The United States, Australia. Arabia. Or Qatar. Qatar. I think it's Australia. Australia? Qatar. Qatar, teacher. Yes, that is correct. It is Qatar. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> the okay, so the, the, the average, maybe, but the, the, the lowest. Uh, okay. yeah. Los obreros, no creo. Okay. Porque, okay. bueno, Para el mundial supe de que eh, la gente que contrataron para hacer los estadios y todo uh -huh. y toda la infraestructura eran mal pagados y prácticamente era explotación como esclavitud. Mm, yeah, um, remember that Hay in this case, yeah, remember that sometimes I mean they can pay more, but they don't want to, right? So, but yeah, they are the richest. Okay. Number five, this country has one of the lowest motor rates in the world. 
And it Swaram. says, uh huh. Swaram. Swaram? Mm, not exactly. Argentina. <laughs> no. New Zealand. Yeah. Zealand? Zealand? Oh, New Zealand. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Correct. So um, it says that the local people have a lot of respect for foreigners. Yes. And there are no political problems. This is the safest country in the world for travelers. The safest. New Zealand. Yeah. And the last one. It says that it is the biggest country in the world. Russia. Yes. This one was so easy, right? The biggest country is Russia. Russia. Yes. Russia. 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 Okay. So guys, as you can see right here, I have highlighted some, what are these? Those are superlative adjectives. That is going to be the main topic for today, superlative adjectives, okay? So now let's move, all right? Let's move and let's continue with this. Let's complete the table with superlatives from the text, okay? So, which is the superlative for expensive? Most expensive. Most expensive. Very good. Uh, for cold? Coldest. The coldest. Rich? Richest. The richest. Safe? Safest. Safest and big? Biggest. Biggest. Very good. So something that you need to remember, guys, is that whenever we have the superlative adjective, we need to add um, da. Okay? Da. The most expensive, the uh, coldest, the richest, the safest, the biggest. Yeah? That is uh, just uh, like a, a rule, okay, that we need to follow. Okay, so now let's move and let's talk about superlative adjectives. What are superlative adjectives? Um, Glenda, help us reading the definition. Superlative adjectives are used to describe an object which is at the upper or lower limit of quality. The tallest, the, the, small, the smallest, the fastest, and the highest. <clears throat> they are not used. They are used in sentences where a subject is compared to a group of objects. Okay, thank you. Pronunciation first, okay? So this one is going to be used. Used. Excellent, okay? And this one is highest. Highest. <clears throat> highest, yes. So, correct. The superlative adjectives are the ones that we use to describe an object, a theme, which is at the upper or lower limit of quality. Superlative, right? So, the tallest, the smallest, the fastest, the highest. Yeah. So, in this case, we also have some rules that we need to follow. Right, and I'm going to mention also the comparatives so you can remember about the class where uh, we study uh, comparatives. So we have the one syllable adjectives. Uh, Susana, help us reading uh, this part, all of this. One syllable adjectives add S for the superlative if the adjective has a consonant plus single vowel plus consonant, spelling the final consonant must be double before adding the ending. Mm -hmm. Adjective, fat. Comparative, fatter. Superlative, the faster. Faster. The fattest. Okay. Fattest. Big, bigger, the biggest. Hot, hotter. Hotter, hotter. Hottest. And hottest. Sad, sadder, the saddest. Perfect. So, guys, as I was mentioning, you see that we use the. Okay. We need to use the with the superlative. 
Very good. Now we also have the ones that end in Y. Uh, let me see, Rose, are you there? Okay, uh, Hosman, help us reading this part. For adjective ending in G, say date. Y. Y, sorry. Y, say date Y to N E before I. I, before I, before ending the ending. Adjective happy, uh, happier, happiest, uh, lucky, luckier, luckiest. Mm -hmm. Uh, pretty, prettier, uh, prettier, and prettiest, pretty. and prettiest, and tidy, oh. tidy, mm -hmm. uh, tighter, e tightest. Excellent. Okay. So now, uh, yes, thank you, Hosman. It says that for adjectives ending in the letter Y, we are going to change the Y to an I before adding, adding the ending. And we have the base form of the adjective, as you can see right here, happy, lucky, pretty, tidy. Yeah, and we have the comparative, happier, luckier, prettier, tidier. And we also have the superlative, the happiest, the luckiest, the prettiest, and the tidiest. Yeah, mm -hmm. pronunciation, yeah. Now, we also have this rule, three or more syllables. And Nelson, can you please help us reading this? Yes, yes, great. Okay, three or more syllables. Adjectives with three or more syllable form the superlative by putting most in front. For example, adjective, important, comparative, more important, superlative, the most important, expensive, more, import, more expensive, and the most expensive. Perfect, thank you. So yes, guys, we also have the ones that have three or more syllables. So with this one, what we're going to do is that we're going to put most in front of the adjective. As you remember, with the comparative form, we added more, but with the superlative, we are going to go ahead and add the most. So as you can see right here, we have the adjective in base form, which is important. And then we are going to move to the comparative, more important, and the superlative, the most important. Yeah? Expensive, more expensive, the most expensive. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you have any question till here? Any doubt? Not right now? Okay, so now let's go back then. And can you please give me an example using uh, one of those superlative adjectives? Not comparative, we are focusing on superlatives. Give me one example, um, a volunteer. An example sentence. The Russia is the biggest city. Uh, Russia. Russia. Oh, is the biggest country. Country. Yes, very good. Correct. Okay, now somebody else give us one example using one of those. The happiest, the luckiest, the prettiest, or the tidiest. In a sentence. Mm 
For example, uh, the winner, the winner lottery mm -hmm. is the luckiest of the war. Okay, is the luckiest. Okay. Only the luckiest. Yes, it's the luckiest. No, it's the luckiest uh, in the world. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, somebody else. Yeah. And in this case, we can say the lottery winner, like the other way around. Okay, al revés. The lottery winner. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Very good. Somebody else? Maybe my mother is the prettiest woman. Excellent. My mom is the prettiest woman wow. in the world, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, very good. I have a question. Yes. I think these adjectives, it's only for objects. For objects? Um, for example? Yeah. No, Susana. En la regla, en la regla decía que era solo para objetos. Oh, no. You can yeah. use adjectives to um, qualify people as well. Okay. Yeah. Uh, always remember that in this case, comparative, superlatives, base form, adjectives are for you to talk about or describe people, animals, things, objects, okay? All of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very good. Okay. Now let's move then with the long adjectives, okay? Give me one example with the superlative, uh, the most important or the most ex expensive. Be happy uh, is the most important goal in the life. Being happy is the most important goal in the life. Is the most important goal in the life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Being happy. Yes. Or happiness. Yes. Could be. Anna. Uh, Apple is the most expensive cell phone, maybe? Apple is the most expensive cell phone. Yeah. Yes. Correct. Mm -hmm. I think that um, when we say Apple, we mean the brand, right? So it could be the brand. Apple okay. brand. Cell phone mm -hmm. brand. The cell phone brand, yeah. Yes, the brand in general. Okay, very good. Let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Now, we also have this rule, irregular comparatives, okay? And Anna, help us reading this. Irregular comparatives and superlative. This very common adjective have a completely Irregular comparative for adjective good, comparative better, superlative the best, a adjective a bad, comparative worse, a superlative the worst, adjective little, comparative less, and superlative the less, mm -hmm. adjective ma much, a comparative more, and superlative the most. A adjective far, comparative farther, and superlative the farthest. Yes, thank you. Just pronunciation, this one, this one is pronounced the least. The least. Mm -hmm. Yes, the least. Okay, so um, let's see. Give me one example using whatever uh, from those adjectives, from the superlative. The best, the worst, the least, the most, the farthest. You are the best teacher. Okay. Thank you. I will take that as a compliment. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, right. For example, uh, 
through garbage in the street is the worst in the world. Okay, it's the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So what about what is the meaning? What is the meaning of, of the least? What is the meaning of the least? Por lo tanto. Oh uh, no. Not exactly. Más pequeño. El menos. El menos. For example, um, if you want to say el menos importante, the least important. Mm -hmm. El Salvador is the least dangerous uh, <laughs> of the world. <laughs> is it the For least example. country in the world? Okay. For example. Yes. Be no, no, teacher. El Salvador is the most important. Okay, the most. Okay, the most dangerous. Uh -huh. okay. Right now? Mm, well. Yes, of course. Yeah. It More or, or less. Or, or it's like in the middle. <laughs> okay, well. The farthest is about distance, right? El más lejos, the farthest. Mm -hmm. It's about distance. Yeah, it's about distance. Okay. All right. Let's move. Let's move. So right now, let's make sentences. Okay. Um, so we have example number one. John is the tallest person in his family. What about number two? Superlative adjectives, okay? Saturday is the best day Better. to go <laughs> shopping. Excellent. Do you think so? Do you think that Saturday is the best day to go shopping? Yes or no? Do you no, think no. Because uh, no, really. always... Uh, always it's full. Uh, the supermarket are full. Okay. The yeah. traffic is terrible Saturday. So no, it's not the best day to go shopping then. Okay. And the prices are high. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, I didn't know that. And what about Sunday? Mm. Do you think it's the best day to go shopping on Sunday? Could be. Could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about number three? Chinese is the most difficult language in the world. Do you think so? Do you think that Chinese is the most difficult language in the world? I agree Maybe. with that. You yeah. agree? Yeah, yes. well, you agree. Okay, yes, I think that, um, yeah, because, I mean, they have symbols, right? So, yes, I think that, yes. Maybe all language, uh, Asian language. Okay. Oh, do you think like Mandarin, Japanese, all of them? The German is complicated. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, okay, but somebody is the, okay. uh, it's the synonym of la papa, la papa, la papa. <laughs> okay, so what about number four? August is the hottest, the hottest month of the month year. Of the year. You think so? I don't think so. Mm, El Salvador, I think, I think every month worse. are uh, hot. April. Okay, April. Okay, okay. I think that April is the hottest, at least in El Salvador, right? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so guys, use pronunciation. Okay, it's not April, it's April with O. April. 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 Yeah, April. Yeah. Thank you. What about number five? Juliet is. Juliet is the most beautiful woman, most beautiful I know. woman I know. Yes, that is correct. Uh, number six, the Nile is? The longest. Number yes, and what about number seven? The Everest. Everest is the highest mountain the highest in the world. The world. The the highest. Correct, the highest. Very good. And what about number eight? It was? 
the funniest. The funniest the movie of the, of the year. year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And number nine, writing a letter is... The slowest. The slowest method of communication. And so, do you think that writing a letter is the slowest method of communication? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? yes. For the moment, yes. Okay. Yes. But I, in my opinion, is uh, uh, the most effective. The most effective. Romantic. <laughs> the most romantic method of communication. Okay, could be. Yes, could be. To express their feelings. The really feelings. Yeah, <laughs> yes, because you are not ashamed, right? Like, see. Yeah, old school is better. Old school, okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, and what about number 10? Sunday is. Most the relaxing most relaxing day of the week. Most relaxing day. Do you think so? Do you think that yeah. Sunday is the most relaxing day of the of the week? Yes or no? No. Yeah. Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. Saturday. Okay. Why not Sunday? Because the next year I prepare the the work to the week. Oh, because on Sunday you prepare your uh, all of the tasks that you yeah. are do on uh, during the week okay uh, because when it's sunday i wake up and i say myself uh, tomorrow is monday <laughs> well i think that yes you have a really good point on that okay so i think that sunday is not the most relaxing day probably saturday because you go ahead and, and go to sleep thinking yes. tomorrow i'm going to rest right and then on sunday you yeah you think about monday so mm, yeah i agree okay could be saturday okay well done. Okay, now let's write the superlative forms of these adjectives. Which is the superlative of amazing? The most amazing. The most amazing. Beautiful? The most beautiful. The most beautiful. Dangerous? The most, the most dangerous. dangerous. Easy? Easy. Easy. Yes. The easiest. The easiest. Famous? The most famous. Excellent. Interesting? The most, the most interesting. interesting. Nice. 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 Forest. Forest. The forest. The rich. 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 Very good. Excellent. So now let's talk about pronunciation, okay? Because um, every time, guys, that you see an adjective that ends in O-U-S, okay, the sound is this one. Dangerous. dangerous. It's not dangerous. Yeah, it's not like dangerous. No, it is dangerous. And also famous. It's not famous. It is famous. I mean, if you notice the pronunciation is um, similar, but it's not the same. Because uh, if you say dangerous, dangerous, it differs a little bit, right? So the correct pronunciation is is with z vibration. Okay, all right, perfect. I have a question. For example, I can use another superlative irregular. Yeah. Uh, in this case, uh, it's the most amazing, for example, but I can say the least amazing. Yes, of course. Yes. El amazing. El menos increíble. Yes. So the least es como decir el menos. But most of the time what we do is that we say the most, right? Mm -hmm. But yes, you can say the least. The least beautiful. The least dangerous. The um, uh, least easiest, etc. Yes, you can say it. Okay. okay, perfect. Now let's move. Okay, let's move. And this is uh, your turn. Okay. So in Teams, what you are going to do is that you are going to unscramble, unscramble those sentences. So we have the example. Look at this. We have in the world is the smallest country, the Barikanda. We need to 
unscramble this and we need to organize the sentence to create a correct sentence, right? So the Vatican is the smallest country in the world. Then we have eight that you are going to unscramble. You are going to organize with your team, yeah? And what you are going to do is that you are going to send those to the WhatsApp group, those eight. I'll give you around 10 minutes probably, okay? Um, you can take one minute and some seconds per each, all right? Yeah, so those are, are eight. Then um, please open the class and then we're going to come back, okay? So here we go. Let me assign, okay. Okay. Hi, Raul. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So, how do you feel? Good? Was everything yeah. okay today at work and everything? Yeah, yeah. I I work a little late, but I am here. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, I can see that. Um, you join a little bit late, right? But don't worry. Is Susana here? Yeah, I think that yes. I think that she is having some issues with the internet. Yeah, let me see. Yes, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Uh, Hosman is requesting help. Let me see Hosman. Where is Hosman? Hosman. Glenda, Hosman, Hosman, oh yes, yes, hi guys, tell me. Uh, eh, para compartir pantalla, teacher. Oh, I'm Estamos sorry, bien. yes, you are right, okay, I'm sorry, okay, all participants, try now. Yeah. Yes, okay, all right. Thank you, teacher. All right, you're welcome. If you have any question, let me know, please, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, let me see. Um, Carlos Arias. Carlos. Oh, yeah. This is about this. Okay, wait. Okay. Let me know if you have any question, okay? Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Okay. Rainforest is the most amazing place in Brazil. Do you have any question, guys, or is everything okay? Uh, no, teacher. He, I'm writing, but uh, the script is not uh, available. Oh yes, but right now, yes, you can try. Ah, okay, okay. Ahorita, please, permíteme un momentito. Okay. Okay. Sí, solo confirmame si lo puedes ver. Yes. Yes. Okay. Sí, sí. Ah, 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 ah. Go 
Ghana? Ghana yeah. is the most interesting same place. Uh -huh. The most interesting place to visit. To visit in the West Africa. In West Africa. Yeah. Uh -huh. To visit in West Africa. Okay, quiero ver. Ghana is the most interesting place to visit in West Africa. Okay. Next is Japan has Japan has the most beautiful the okay. has the most beautiful Maybe the, the uh, yeah. Será the, the tacos? Vamos a ver. Nice. Nice. Mm. The nicest, the nicest food. In Mexico are tacos. Yeah. Mm. That's the way. The nicest food in Mexico are tacos. Uh -huh, see, see. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Continue, continue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The six. Argentina. The south of Argentina. Argentina. Uh, as the colder weather as the coldest in the country. In the front. Coldest. Yes. Yes. Okay. Next. The seven. The Egypt. The Egyptian pyramids. Is correct. Pyramids. Oh. Mm. Pyramids. Pyramids. Uh, okay. Pyramids. The, the Egyptian pyramids. Oh, okay. Egyptian is correct. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Egyptian. Yes. Egyptian pyramids. Yeah. Pyramids. Okay. Are, are the uh, yes. most are the famous most monuments, famous in, monuments the in the world. Okay. Oh, could be. Um, the tacos, the, the tacos are, are, are nice food, food in Mexico. In Mex yes. Mm, I never. Are you never, sure? I never go to Mexico. I have never been. I have never been go to the, to Mexico. Oh, I have never been to Mexico. Been to Mexico. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, let me see. One day, you one day. Send your, your, your sentences, okay? To the WhatsApp group. Okay. Yeah. Really? <laughs> yes, you need to send them. Okay, the rainforest <laughs> is the most amazing place in Brazil. Where is that, like, the one? You can... It's called your rain. Right? Okay. okay. All of sentence. Yes, the eight, <laughs> the eight of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Rain forest. Forest is the most amazing. Este teclado me corrige. Amazing place. In Brazil. In Brazil. In Brazil. La favela. Mm. Well, <laughs> sorry. Mm. The rainforest is the most amazing place in Brazil. Okay, China has some of the largest cities in the world. Let me see. Okay. 
Switzerland is the richest country in the world. Mm -hmm. Yes. China. What? What is what is the pronunciation for Switzerland? Switzerland. Uh, Switzerland. Switzerland. Yeah, Switzerland. Oh, okay. Switzerland, the Egyptian pyramids are the most. Are the most. Are the most. Okay. It's true. This sentence is number three. Number three about <laughs> about Switzerland. Switzerland is the richest country. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, it is the richest in Europe, right? In, in Europe, okay. In Europe, yeah. Europe. Sometimes I check some commercial in, in the website about mm -hmm. Switzerland. Yeah. You can obtain the, you can get the visa mm -hmm. and you can live okay. and they paid you. But I don't know if it's true. Could be. Yeah, could be. Interesting. Yes, and let me see. Place in Europe, in West Africa. Okay. In West Africa. Period. Sure, it'll sum, blow thumb. I just got Lorena, Walter. Teacher, mm -hmm. the pronunciation uh, is correct. The thought, mm -hmm. the thought of Argentina. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Number six. Number six. Let me see. The the south. What is the south? The south. Ah, okay. Thank the you. South. Uh -huh. Thank you. Okay. The China, no China.
Done. Okay, who knows? Let me see. Oh, also, let me see. Is it is it says the China? Let me see. Or just China? China? China, right? Yes. Yes, but the I guess China. the China says Edwin. China. Okay. The China Carlos Torres as well. Ah, yes, the channel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make them. The China without. Okay, I think that China has some this one. All right, let's go back and let me close the windows. Okay, guys, let's go back. Okay, so um, let's see. Well, I can see that you all finished, right? Just be careful with some of the observations that I have added on the chat. Uh, okay, Eulise and Wilbur. China. Okay. All right, perfect. So um, do you have any question right now? Any doubt about this activity? No? Any doubt? Any question? No, Jed. No, Jed. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to take the attendance, okay? I'm going to take the attendance. So say present, okay? Um, Ana Lorena Lovato? Present. Thank you. Andrea Sofia Benitez? Andrea? I saw Andrea, but okay. Um, Blanca Jennifer Torres? Present. Yes, thank you. Uh, Carlos Alberto Dominguez. Present. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, Carlos Eduardo Torres. Present. Thank you. Carlos Francisco Arias. Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Cesar Homero Amaya. Cesar? Um, Edwin Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eulice Torres. Present. Okay, Fatima Noemi Umaña. Fatima? Present. Okay, Fatima is here. Eh, Glenda Toledo? Glenda? Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal? I'm here. Thank you. Houseman Atilio Serran? Present, teacher. Thank you. Juan Francisco Salmerón? Karen Lisset Sanchez? Thank you. Catherine Indira Velasquez, Marlon Oswaldo Paniagua, Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Rafael Alexander Serna. Present teacher. Yes. Eh, Raúl Ernesto González. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa del Carmen Enríquez. Yeah, it's almost... Present. Thank you. Susana Milena Cruz. Present. Thank you. Walter David Diaz. Present. Thank you. Wilber Alberto. Present. Thank you. And Jensi Azucena. Well, yeah, I haven't seen Jensi. All right. So let's move, guys, and let's continue with today's class. And right now, we are going to take the listening, okay? We are going to take the listening quiz. 
So please go uh, to the WhatsApp group and look for the listening, for the listening quiz. It was the first one, the first link that I sent to you. Okay. And let me know once you are in so I can play the, the recording. I can see the message, teacher. On the WhatsApp group? Oh. Um, but I can send it right here if you want. Um, thank you, Raul. Yes, that's the link, the one that, that Raul sent, okay? And the passcode is listening, okay? Listening. Mm -hmm. I am teacher. Okay, perfect. Me too. Excellent. Okay. I am in. Awesome, thank you. I am in. Okay, perfect. Um, all right. Who is not ready? Who is not ready? Or are you uh, ready? Well, I think I yes. All right. Okay. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm going to play the recording twice, okay? Two times. So here we go with the, with the first time. Um, here we go. Dave, I'm going to the supermarket to pick up food and drink for Saturday's picnic later. Any suggestions? Well, everyone's been talking about having a barbecue down by the river, so why don't you pick up some hamburger and hot dogs? Okay, but how much hamburger meat are we going to need? And hot dogs, too? Uh, I don't know. How about three pounds of hamburger and a couple packages of hot dogs? Oh, that's not going to be enough. Do you remember the last picnic we went on? Mm. Your roommate, Jim, ate about 10 hamburgers by himself. <laughs> You're right. Let's see. I better write this down. Uh, let's see. About nine pounds of hamburger meat and uh, seven packages of hot dogs. And you better pick up some chicken for those who don't like hamburger or hot dogs. Okay. How about five or six bags of potato chips? Mm, better make that eight or so. All right. Oh, and we're going to need some hamburger and hot dog buns. How about five packages apiece? piece? I think that sounds about right. Yeah, you better pick up some mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise, too. Okay, what else? Uh, we're going to need some soft drinks. How about ten of those big two-liter bottles? Sounds fine, but be sure to buy a variety of drinks. Okay, and what about dessert? Well, maybe we could ask Kathy to make a few cherry pies like she did last time. Well, I wouldn't mind that, but you know she's been very busy working two jobs, so I'd hate to ask oh, her. Mm. And, uh, hey, why don't you whip up some of your oatmeal cookies? Well... Hey, you could even ask, uh, what's her name? Yeah, the hmm? new girl, Susan, the one that moved across the street. Well, I bet she'd be willing to help you. I don't know. She's a real knockout. Nah, I don't think I could ask her. Uh, I, I don't know her phone number. Plus... Hey, you don't need to. She's at the door. What do you mean? Well, I thought you two would hit it off, so I called her up saying I was you, and I invited her over to watch a movie. You did what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Uh okay. Here we go with the second time. Okay. Dave, I'm going to the supermarket to pick up food and drink for Saturday's picnic later. Any suggestions? Well, everyone's been talking about having a barbecue down by the river, so why don't you pick up some hamburger and hot dogs? Okay, but how much hamburger meat are we going to need? And hot dogs, too? Uh, I don't know. How about three pounds of hamburger and a couple packages of hot dogs? Oh, that's not going to be enough. Do you remember the last picnic we went on? Mm. Your roommate, Jim, ate about ten hamburgers by himself. <laughs> You're right. Let's see. I better write this down. Uh, let's see, about nine pounds of hamburger meat and uh, seven packages of hot dogs. And you better pick up some chicken for those who don't like hamburger or hot dogs. Okay, how about five or six bags of potato chips? Mm, better make that eight or so. All right. Oh, and we're going to need some hamburger and hot dog buns. How about five packages apiece? I think that sounds about right. Yeah, you better pick up some mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise, too. Okay, what else? Uh... We're going to need some soft drinks. How about 10 of those big two-liter bottles? 
Sounds fine, but be sure to buy a variety of drinks. Okay, and what about dessert? Well, maybe we could ask Kathy to make a few cherry pies like she did last time. Well, I wouldn't mind that, but you know she's been very busy working two jobs, so I'd hate to ask oh, her.、Mm. And、uh, hey, why don't you whip up some of your oatmeal cookies? Well, hey, you could even ask,、uh, what's her name? Yeah, the、hmm? new girl, Susan, the one that moved across the street.、Well, I bet she'd be willing to help you. I don't know. She's a real knockout. Nah, I don't think I could ask her.、Uh, I don't know her phone number. Plus, hey, you don't need to. She's at the door. What do you mean? Well, I thought you two would hit it off, so I called her up saying I was you, and I invited her over to watch a movie. You did what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait.、Uh, okay, ready? No. Okay, I'm going to play it once again. All right. Dave, I'm going to the supermarket to pick up food and drink for Saturday's picnic later. Any suggestions? Well, everyone's been talking about having a barbecue down by the river, so why don't you pick up some hamburger and hot dogs? Okay, but how much hamburger meat are we going to need? And hot dogs too? Uh, I don't know. How about three pounds of hamburger and a couple packages of hot dogs? Oh, that's not going to be enough. Do you remember the last picnic we went on?、Mm. Your roommate Jim ate about ten hamburgers by himself. <laughs> You're right. Let's see. I better write this down. Uh, let's see, about nine pounds of hamburger meat and、uh, seven packages of hot dogs. And you better pick up some chicken for those who don't like hamburger or hot dogs. Okay, how about five or six bags of potato chips?、Mm, better make that eight or so. All right. Oh, and we're going to need some hamburger and hot dog buns. How about five packages apiece? piece? I think that sounds about right. Yeah, you better pick up some mustard, ketchup, and mayonnaise too. Okay. What else? Uh. We're going to need some soft drinks. How about ten of those big two-liter bottles? Sounds fine, but be sure to buy a variety of drinks. Okay, and what about dessert? Well, maybe we could ask Kathy to make a few cherry pies like she did last time. Well, I wouldn't mind that, but you know she's been very busy working two jobs, so I'd hate to ask、oh, her.、Mm. And、uh, hey, why don't you whip up some of your oatmeal cookies? Well, hey, you could even ask,、uh, what's her name? Yeah, the、hmm? new girl, Susan, the one that moved across the street.、Well, I bet she'd be willing to help you. I don't know. She's a real knockout. Nah, I don't think I could ask her.、Uh, I don't know her phone number. Plus, hey, you don't need to. She's at the door. What do you mean? Well, I thought you two would hit it off, so I called her up saying I was you, and I invited her over to watch a movie. You did what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait.、Uh, okay, now yes, yes. Okay, submit your answers, guys. Okay,、mm, let's see. Let me see. Okay, I can see that most of you got eighty, one hundred. Okay, so I think that it was, it was、um, kind of difficult because of the because they、um, they speak really fast, but I can see that most of you got one hundred and eighties. Okay, perfect. Okay, keep practicing with the listenings that I sent on the WhatsApp group. Okay, the link that I sent. Okay, guys, let's continue with the class. Now let's focus on the book. All right.、Um, let's see. I need two volunteers, please, Wilbur and、uh, Eulis. Wilbur, be、uh, Gilbert and Eulis, Laura. Hey,、uh, Laura. How do you keep the schedule organized? My staff is always complaining. I use an only service、uh, so that the staff can see their schedule for their phones. That sounds like the most efficient way. I bet it saves a lot of time. <laughs> Mm, yes, it is the best way to keep your staff organization in on time. Okay, 
Thank you. All right, so let's focus on pronunciation, guys. The first thing is my staff, okay, staff. Then we also have this one, which is online, online, yeah? Phones, yeah, phones. And this one, the most efficient, efficient, yeah? And this one, organized, organized, yeah? Very good. So now let me ask you something, guys. Um, how difficult is it to organize a staff schedules? Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Do you think that uh, computers are really useful at the workplace? Mm -hmm. Or no? What do you think? Are computers a good tool to create effective schedules for employees? Mm -hmm. Is depend of the kind of jobs, maybe? Depends on the kind of job. Okay. Yeah. Now, what is the meaning of overstaffing and understaffing? How can you define overstaffing? Yeah. How do you define that, guys? What is it? Give me examples. When I have a lot of people mm -hmm. in and, one position. Excellent. And understaffing? When you don't have enough people. Correct. Mm -hmm. And what do you think are some effective strategies to avoid that? To avoid. Avoid. Para evitar. Uh, yeah, but, but um, tell me strategies to avoid that, to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. What can you think of? I can hear the meaning of overstaffing and understaffing. Oh, okay, uh, let's see. I think that Carlos Eduardo um, said that. Can you please repeat? Uh, for overstaffing? Yes. Yes, it's when you have a lot of people in one position. In understaffing? Understaffing when you don't have uh, the, the people. Yes, the opposite, right? Mm -hmm. So what are the strategies to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? Uh, I think that, for example, restaurant and restaurant, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. for example, in restaurant, check the traffic, maybe at lunch or at night or the balloting day that is full and I need more people and mm -hmm. I need uh, extra the strategy to avoid the overstaffing. Okay. Yes. Okay. And which could be a strategy to avoid overstaffing or understaffing in Valentine's Day? Maybe identify the time when the customer is come in big number maybe okay uh, when it's much people okay okay could be okay so identify identify okay many people okay many people um, yes, could be. So how does your company organize the schedules? Do they organize a schedule through applications, through a chart? How? Do you use any specific tool?
Well, I think that in most of the companies, there is a department that is in charge of that, right? It should be. Okay. All right. Let's continue. Okay. So now let's uh, review what we covered at the very beginning, but we are going to talk about the information that we have on the book. So I need, uh, Rafael, please read um, this part, the one that you have on your left, yeah, those two. And uh, let me see, um, Carlos Eduardo, those two uh, squares on your right. Okay. Go, Rafael. How okay. do you use superlative? Yeah. Jack is the fastest, fastest server. Mm -hmm. That was the saddest moment in the shift. Yes. The bosses, however, is doing lunch, mm -hmm. and the most interesting customers come to our to our restaurant. Okay. The superlative form continue. Ah, the superlative form for one syllable adjectives is made of the plus adjective plus est. Mm -hmm. And the adjectives that are two or more syllables long use the plus most plus adjective for their superlative form. Yes. Okay. Uh, the example is kitchen managers had the best schedule. Mm -hmm. I usually receive the worst tips. Mm -hmm. Adjectives like good and bad are called irregular adjectives because their superlative forms do not follow the EST rule. All right, thank you, okay? Pronunciation, remember that this one is going to be busiest, okay? Busiest, busiest, yes, okay? Uh, Anna, which are the busiest hours in your workplace? The mm. busiest maybe at a or nine p.m. because it is the time when. Uh, I need to orga, organize it, organize. my work uh -huh, mm -hmm. and check the email for the, the no, I, how do you say pendientes? Uh, for the pending tasks. For the pending tasks. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, what about in your case, Edwin? Which are the busiest hours? Are you there, Edwin? Yes. So um, the BCRs are, um, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, no? Mm, I don't know what it's know. Oh, the busiest hours um, are those um, hours in which you have a lot of things to do. When you have a lot of tasks, when you have a lot of um, probably um, pending tasks that you need to resolve, that you need to complete. No? Mm. So, for example, in my work, um, I have some this is times because uh, when I have a meeting with a client and I have to resolve for the productions okay. process, and uh, uh, in that process, there uh, are many things to resolve. Mm -hmm. Um, do you do this in the morning, in the afternoon? 
So the sometimes in the morning and sometimes in the afternoon. Okay, so you don't have any specific time. Okay, got it. Yes. Perfect. Wilbert, what about in your case? Which are the busiest hours? Uh, well, in the department is between the seven and nine o'clock in the morning because we have to schedule uh we have to call the clients before uh visit them, visit them. Before so after, after after we confirm the visit we we just we know what we have to do so mm -hmm. got go it out. okay so you need to be sure that the client is going to be there yes yes we have to be sure but sometimes it's not so but we have to to do it and okay. you have to visit. Got it. Okay, perfect. Excellent. What about in your case, Raul? The busiest hours? The busiest hour, let me see. Maybe after the after the the lunch in the in the in the job. Mm -hmm. Okay, it should be in the afternoon then. Okay, perfect. And you, Susana? I think the same. Uh, the busiest hour is after the lunch. After lunch. Okay. All right. Uh, just after lunch, okay? Perfect. And you, Salvador? In the morning. In the morning. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Okay, guys. Uh, oh, let's continue. Okay. Let's underline the correct word or phrase. Number one, it says the most important thing is to find a substitute for sick employees. Okay, number two. Which is the correct word or phrase? Don't use the best. Don't use the goodest yes. such as. The schedules as a reward. Okay, so in this case, um. The better. Yes. Is, is it the best or is it the goodest? The best. The best. Yeah, the best. Yeah, the best it's right? It's a superlative of good. Excellent. Okay. And it is irregular. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, remember the pronunciation as schedules. Schedule. Excellent. Okay. What about number three? Jane is. The fastest. The fastest. Yes, the fastest. This one, okay? The T-H-E. Uh -huh. Number yeah. four. Delivery orders are? The most, the most popular. popular. Most popular. Right, right, now. Now. right now. Repeat after me and say popular. 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 Yeah, not popular. 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 Very good. With a style, right? With a style. Okay, number five. This restaurant has... The most. The most the prettiest. Prettiest. The prettiest. The prettiest. The prettiest. A short one. And it ends with the letter Y. And number six, the kitchen manager works, works the longest, the longest, longest shift. shift. The longest. 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 Okay. Longest. Perfect. Very good. Yes. Okay. Easy. Piece of cake. Okay. So now it says, which of these strategies do you and your partner consider effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? So we have six strategies. Can you please help us reading those six strategies, Salvador? 
provide the schedule to train employees. Provide a schedule to your employees quickly. Mm -hmm. Find a method to communicate quickly with employees. Mm -hmm. Take working preference into account. Schedule having your employees strange in mind. Allow for change in the schedule. Prevent absences using phone rem reminder. reminders. Reminders. Yes, changes. Okay, changes. Changes. Cambios. Changes, cambios. Reminders, recordatorios. Absentism. Okay, what is it? Uh, absentism. Okay. Okay, so which of these strategies do you think um, that are effective to avoid overstaffing and understaffing? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Provide the provide the schedule to your employees quickly. Okay. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. A schedule. Uh, yeah, a schedule. Okay, it could be a good strategy. What else? Somebody else? Take working preference into account. Okay. Take working preferences into account. Okay, what else? Mm -hmm. Overstaffing and understaffing, guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, allow for changes in the schedule. I think that that one it could be the most effective one. Allow for changes in the schedule because, I mean, you can go ahead and tell your employees that uh, they are going to work certain hours only, right? So you are allowing uh, those changes in the schedule to avoid overstaffing and understaffing. I think that that could be the most effective. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's move. And now, yes, let's take the grammar quiz. The grammar sure. quiz. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I have a question with. Uh, okay. Uh, what's the meaning of uh, the absentism? Uh, the last. Absentism. 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 Yes, uh, that means ausentismo. Ah, yeah. Okay. When people do not show up, right? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Um. Oh, this one is a phrasal verb. Okay, show up. Cuando alguien no se presenta, you can say, "Hey, that person didn't show up." No se presentó. Presentarse. Llegar a un lugar. Show up. So absenteeism is when people do not show up. They don't go. Okay. Thank right. you. Perfect. Now uh, let's move in the grammar quiz. The grammar quiz is about superlatives and comparatives. Two of them. Once you are done with that quiz, we are going to start with the speaking time. Okay. So once you are done, let me know because I'm going to move you to a different room so you can start practicing. Remember that those minutes are for you to practice. Practice as much as you can, okay? So, but right now we are going to take the grammar quiz. Um, so if you want, you can go to the spreadsheet or let me get the link for you or uh, to the WhatsApp group. I send it uh, before the class. And if not, there you go. That is the link. And the passcode this time is going to be kind of different because it's English 2023. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go to the link um, and try to, to remember, okay, what we have covered about superlatives and comparatives. 
Once you are done, let me know so I can move you to a different room. Okay. Okay, you can see the link um, on the WhatsApp group, Jennifer, or here. Puede ser que esté en el WhatsApp o aquí.
Okay, I got Susana and I got Rafael. Okay, I'm going to move you guys, okay? Let me see Susana and Rafael. Done. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Let me see. Nelson and Anna and Walter. Anna. What we do in the groups, teacher? Oh, you need to practice the speaking. Okay, Nelson. I finish. Okay. And let me see. Okay, Anna and Nelson. I got Glenda and Walter. Okay, the speaking time, okay? Linda, Walter, okay. Edwin, Wilbur. Jennifer, Raúl. Okay, let me see, Raúl. Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Andrea. Well, Andrea. Teacher. Yeah. I was alone. Elisa, yes. Um, Carlos Dominguez, are you there? I think that Carlos is not there. Uh, I'll move you to room two, Elisa. Okay. okay. Okay, I'm I'm missing Hostman, I'm missing Salvador, I'm missing Karen, I'm missing Carlos Eduardo, and Carlos Dominguez. Ya terminó. Okay, I got Hostman. Mm -hmm. Okay, Hostman. I will move you room three. Okay, Salvador. Okay, Salvador, you will go with 
Room four. And Carlos Arias and Carlos Eduardo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Karen. Karen. Carlos Arias. Green. Carlos Arias. Postman? Ni siquiera adelante. <laughs> Deep company. Okay. Yeah, it's difficult. Want um, ex more experience and more experience. It's difficult uh, for the people after first graduation. In some case, only to study, not work. Okay. I think for get a better job, you need more experience because the company is not arriesgarse and yeah. don't want to pay more for you. And if you don't have experience in the camp, in the real life, The next yeah. question. And what is the most important subject in school? I don't know. <laughs> I think. I don't know. Sociales, no sé cómo se dice. Sociales? Social, uh -huh. Social studies? Social studies um, or language? Uh, language and literature. Ok, como lenguaje o idioma. Mm -hmm. Ok, lenguaje. No, lenguaje. Ok, language and literature. Uh, literature. Mm -hmm. Ok. I think twice. What about you, Rafael? What is the most important subject in school? Mm -hmm. I think it's, in my case, physics and math. Subject in my career about speeches. And the first tips is to be confident and believe yourself, trust in yourself. And then uh, have, have the, the ideas to give in the speech. But the, first, the most important tips is to be, to be confident and trust in you. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And the most important thing could be to have a, a control of the speech or presentation every every time. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think, Ro Robo? Well, another tips that that can be uh, that can be practiced is is well practice the, the the speech or the presentation uh, in front of the mirror yeah before, in front of the mirror <laughs> before uh, and maybe for example in the presentation uh, a good idea is uh, prepare the sliders 
uh, very well because uh, some person used the the presentation for read and the presentation is only the mm -hmm. uh, idea. Let's see, give me a second is only the a support, support. Mm -hmm. a support yeah you, yeah when you when you presenting something you don't need to read all the presentation because the presentation is on, only the the support for you and okay. and your mm -hmm. speech yeah um when you are presenting okay ah, okay presenting excellent yes thank you Okay. What do you think, Josman? Yeah. Okay, the next question. Do you have uh, any tips for giving a successful speech or presentation? What does it mean? I, I forget speech. the meaning of a speech. What does it mean a speech? Okay. When you speak. Uh -huh. Discourse. Mm -hmm. Discourse. Oh, okay. I never okay. have been good for <laughs> speech. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, in teacher, my opinion, I'm teacher, I'm sick. I cannot uh, get to school. But with the document, signed with my mother. Okay. So. <laughs> The medical leave. How do you say yeah, incapacidad? Medical leave. Okay. Medical leave. Oh, okay. It's a new word. Medical for leave. Me. The medical leave. Yeah. Those are really common uh, in the school right nowadays. Medical leave. Medical leave. Okay. Yeah. Speech, discourse. Okay. Speech. Maybe a tip is uh, uh, known about the topic uh, of uh, what you talk uh, the other people. It's important because if you uh, if you know about the topic, uh, you you can some uh, some control about to explain uh, for others yes you have to be sure about your talking about maybe you can read your main ideas and organize it uh, before a speech in front of all but it's successful is exitoso is uh, yes an exitoso discourse mm -hmm. presentation okay uh, another tip uh, tip is maybe uh, create a draft and practice practice uh, for I don't know how to dominate the topic. Feel you get the topic really well, mm. or under, uh, understand the topic really well. Ah, okay, okay. Make uh, make or create a draft and practice a lot of to understand the topic or to master the topic. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. What is one of the most exciting jobs you can think of? The most exciting jobs. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's the name of uh, the, the, the job, but I would like uh, to work as a tester gamer. I don't know what to say. As a gamer? Uh, you know, a taster. Uh, you, you, you taste the, the game. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yes, that is a job, right? 
Yeah. When 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 I was uh, when I was young, when uh, we watch uh, TV with my brothers, mm -hmm. and so and we saw the reports and and, and we saw we watch others and we said, wow, I like I would like to work like them. Okay. All right. Yes. Uh, I think that that is a a job in which you are going to entertain. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Um, Tester games. Mm -hmm. For me. For me. I don't know what is the the correct word, but uh, it's the 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 biologic biologic biology uh, uh, um, that creates a documental. No sé cómo es la gente que los biólogos que hacen los propios documentales y que lo suben y es eso para mí es como pues a mí me gusta ese trabajo ah, yes, yes, no yes, sé yes. cómo cómo es ese junte vea que um, es su profesión y lo documenta vea no sé cómo sería ahí okay so it, it could be, be a biologist okay biologist aside uh, maybe aside to estudios o investigación about biology uh -huh. okay. A biologist that creates a documental. Documentaries. Okay. Yes, that is it's a good. It's a uh, good. You word. have to need passion. Yes, because you travel around the world. Uh -huh. You know uh -huh. a lot of uh, a lot of uh, things or an animals, uh -huh. or plants. And you imagine like how how they survive in those in those places. Yes. Uh, it's it sounds good. Yes. How about one of the most boring jobs? <laughs> For me, in my humble opinion. He's an accountant. Accountant? Okay. Because, because the pay is, uh, is bad. It's bad and they work a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, things and works uh, much time. Okay. The payment is low. Oh, the payment. Okay. Thank okay. you. And you? You, Wilbur? And you? Mm, I don't know. It could be a accountant like you, but 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 no, but not for the money because I I I don't think about the money. I think about the experience, and the experience for me then the. The numbers, no, it is not for me. <laughs> okay. Yes. And you, Anna? For me, Anna. the most okay. exciting jobs, Lorena, <laughs> is a cars mechanic, maybe for me, because I really love the, the cars. Okay. 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 Um, Good. Interesting. Uh, <laughs> for me, the most boring jobs maybe is all jobs when you need free. <laughs> um, no sé cómo decir bastante. A lot. A lot. A lot. Ah, when you need free, a lot. It's boring for me. Boring? Mm. Yes, okay. it's boring. And you, Eulis? Um, I'm thinking about okay. this, <laughs> the sentences, uh, a specific uh, boring job, it's a boring day. Okay, for you it's more harder or, it's harder or 
or easiest? Easier. easier. I think it's more easy. It's easier. Now. It's easier. Easier. Now. Now, mm -hmm. uh, now we have a virtual class. And that's for me is is easier. Yeah, for me too. What do you think, Susanna Edwin? So um, for me in this class in English um the exam is easier. Okay. Um, I don't have uh, the material subject this year, but I have evaluations for thesis, so I think going to hard harder. Yeah, it's it's hard. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I awful. Me too. That it about <laughs> the last year I had my test. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the same <laughs> Okay. Good luck with that. Um, which is worse? Is worse for people's health, smoking or drinking, and why? I think smoking because no sé cómo se dice dañan. Dañan los pulmones. And you, you can speak the other person just with smell. Uh -huh. they, oh, they, they, they smoke. Yeah. I think the. So I think it's worse smoking. Why? Uh, because uh, you, uh, sorry, you hurt your, your plums, plums, oh. I, I think. Okay, you damage your lungs. You damage your lungs. Lungs. Ah, lungs. Perfect. Uh, Thank you, teacher. Okay. Yeah, almost right, but yes. Lungs. Lungs. Yeah. Yeah. Lungs. Yeah. Yes. lungs. And is the brain suffers too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about Jennifer? What do you think? I think it's the same. Because, Why? <laughs> uh, because smoking or drinking damage your 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 system. Mm -hmm. and, and you can you can die for mm -hmm. this. Yeah. yeah. And you abuse the 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 alcohol or the tobacco? I don't know. Alcohol, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Um in this case, um I think that both are the same, right? Both. Yes. But the thing is that I think that the worst, the worst is going to be, in my case, what I think, okay, I don't know, is drinking alcohol because you can provoke accidents. I mean, you can probably kill somebody else. That's what I think. Yeah. Okay. Eh, to, uh, tobacco, right? Tobacco. Tobacco. Um, let me see. Tobacco, you can say it. Um, tobacco. Tobacco. Yeah. Tobacco. Okay. Yeah. Tobacco. Tequila is good. Sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Uh, which is harder, math or English, and why? Mm -hmm. I I think the the math is easier. Yeah, I think English. 
I think that too. Yeah. <laughs> <Is> English is <laughs> really easy. No. <laughs> no, teacher. It I, is. I learned it is all the math. It's easy, but I can't speak English. Okay. All right. Okay. Um. Okay. Could be right, but well, I think that English is easier than than math. <laughs> Well, that's what I think here. <laughs> yes, right, could be. Okay, so let's go back to the main room because we're done with the class, okay? Let's go back, okay. Okay. Let's go. Now, let me ask you a question, okay? To the ones that are already here, let me ask you a question, okay? What do you think about this? If you own a business, is it more important to be good with numbers? or be creative? If you own a business, if you have a business, right? If you create a business, okay? What is more important? To be good with numbers or to be creative? What do you think? To be creative. Okay, to be creative. Why, Susanna? Why to be creative is more important than to be good? Because, because you need a good marketing for buy your product. Uh, uh, okay, for selling your product. Uh, for selling your product. Okay, okay, okay. What about the other ones? What do you think? If you own a business, if you have a business, is it more important to be good with numbers or to be creative? Susanna said to be creative because you need to have a good marketing to sell your products. For me, it's important. It's more important to be good, very good with the numbers. With numbers. Okay. Yeah. Because you need a uh, Equilibrate the cost the and the ba the balance the the in the ins and the outs. Okay. All right. Perfect. Just because of the time, we are going to stop right here, guys. It's already 10 p.m. So we are going to stop right here. Tomorrow, we are going to continue with different questions. The only person that please stays with me is Nelson. Then the other ones, please go ahead and rest. Okay? Rest okay. and I'll see you back tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. night. Good 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 night. Take care. Yes. Good night. Good night. Okay. Good night. All right. So Nelson, then we are going to have the feedback. Okay. So we are going to have the feedback. Okay. Let me know if you're able to listen to me clearly. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Because I think that I'm having some issues with the internet. But okay. So uh, the, 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 the video. Um, yes. The stream is uh, slow slow than, than your voice yes yes i can see that as well here okay so uh, nelson we are going to have this short feedback for 10 minutes only okay so okay in these 10 minutes what i want to hear about you is first of all i would like to know how long have you been studying english then okay. I would like to know what do you think about our classes, okay? Just uh, the month that you have been with me, right? What do you think about, about our classes, the dynamic of the class, right? Um, how do you feel with that, etc. Okay. Uh, I feel good with the you as a teacher because the dynamics are excellent. I... I I can to practice a lot in my English. Uh, in the beginning, I, I'm afraid to to talk okay. uh, English because uh, um, I have um, some years uh, that I don't practice. Okay. 
And my, my pronunciation is bad. And I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid for that. Mm -hmm. But uh, the last model, okay. the last model, uh, I help about this problem. Mm -hmm. My, I no sé cómo decir, eh, mi, mi, mi lengua, como decir, mi lengua se hizo más como suelta, pues, okay. no sé cómo so decir. So my, my speaking, my speaking improves. It's more fluent. Okay, yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. my speaking improve eh, when I try, when practice in the class. Mm -hmm. But uh, all day, uh, I never have time to practice. Okay. Uh, when when the night is arrived, no, it's not yeah. it's correct. Yes. Uh, or become. Uh, mm, you can say at night. Okay. When at night uh, I'm tired mm -hmm. and <laughs> I don't want to practice because uh, I don't have uh, any to practice. Anyone to practice. Anyone, sorry, mm -hmm. anyone to practice. Okay. And I've been studying for, for eight years. But, mm -hmm. but, but, mm -hmm. uh, each year I, I left, I no sé si es correcto. I have left. I have left, left and continue, uh, uh, let me see, two years uh, bef before. Later? Later, Later. sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And in this time, uh, I forget all, all. Okay. And, uh, and, and I, no, como digo nuevamente. I, again? Sí, verdad, algo así. And again, I, I have to learn okay. other. Again, okay. And Again. do you use English at work? No. Mm -hmm. Well, um, well, yes, because uh, the support uh, for some application uh, is the uh, Indian, mm -hmm. and they uh, speaking. <laughs> English. Okay. And I feel that this situation uh, helped me. Okay. Because I I hear I hear their pronunciation is different. Absolutely, it's it is different because it's uh, the pronunciation is uh, faster. It's faster and it's complicated to understand sometimes, but uh, I try it, I try it. Okay. And... Lo voy a decir en español esto. Okay, try it. Eh, ahorita es como que siempre tuve eso de que podía entender, mm -hmm. porque en base que tuve un buen maestro. Okay. Entonces, que nos dio clases, que Tres años, cuatro años, y pude aprender súper bien de él. Okay. Ahorita, pues, por lo que le decía, ¿verdad? que estudiaba okay. un año y lo dejaba, continuaba, ¿qué? o retomaba los dos, tres años, okay. se me olvida, obviamente se olvida, ¿verdad? Entonces, okay. he olvidado mucho, por lo menos en cuanto a verbos, he olvidado mucho. Okay. Este era como que, verbo con A, rapidito. Ahora como que me está costando eso, pero o sea, yo sé que es normal. Okay. El, 
el conocimiento o el entendimiento todavía lo tengo porque mm -hmm. si logro comprender la mayoría de palabras yes. y lo que me ha estado costando hasta antes del de, de inicio de este módulo era el, el hablarlo okay. eh, anteriormente tuve a la teacher Nati okay. y sí me dio unos consejos vea que yo dije eh, me puse a pensar en ello mm -hmm. tiene razón vea o sea y eso antes de empezar este módulo estuve practicando en eso ¿verdad? por eso es que ahora me siento como más suelto okay. más suelto con ella fue como que era algo tímido chai chai es la palabra ¿verdad? chai yes yeah. y ella me decía no me decía tú puedes o sea entendés eh, pronuncias pero que se te quite esa timidez me dijo aprende de tus errores divertite de tus errores y esa palabra eso fue lo que hizo eco en mí y ya me, me he vuelto un poquito más suelto uh -huh. estoy regresando okay. digamos a quien era ok Ajá. ok uh -huh. ok bueno eh, sí en este caso pues básicamente se nota cuando a, alguien ha tenido eh, como experiencia previa con el idioma y en este caso, cuando empezamos las clases, eh, usted tiene ya como una base, ¿verdad? Lo único que le hace falta es, como usted dijo, eh, tal vez soltarse un poquito más. Sin embargo, en mis clases, pues eh, yo lo he visto que opina bastante, ¿verdad? Y también participa bastante. Eh, yo no diría que usted es shy. Tal vez anteriormente sí lo era, pero en este momento, como usted mismo lo acaba de decir, ya está regresando, ¿verdad? Básicamente, eh, tal vez todos los conocimientos que usted tenía, ya usted está recordando, etcétera. Entonces, eh, por el momento creo que usted va bien. Um, tal vez lo único que hay que mejorar son cuestiones de gramática, ¿verdad? Como decir sí, ciertas sí. cosas. Sin embargo, eso se va a dar pues en el camino, ¿verdad? Donde usted sí, vaya aprendiendo. Eh, en este momento, pues trato yo de corregir lo más que puedo, ¿verdad? Se agradece. Eh, de alguna manera, eh, creo que eso les va a servir a ustedes y más que todo eh, para que ustedes agarren confianza con el idioma, porque en ocasiones nos sentimos, eh, como usted dijo, shy, ¿verdad? De participar, sí. de, de, de decir, pues, de hablar en la clase, porque en muchas ocasiones eh, la dinámica es muy distinta. Tal vez el docente es el que habla más y el alumno tal vez no participa mucho. Sí. Sin embargo... Al menos, pues, en este momento lo que estamos tratando de hacer con ustedes es que hablen, que hablen lo más que puedan. Y que sabemos que en ocasiones se van a encontrar con vocabulario que no saben cómo decir algo, pero es que ese es el reto, que ustedes sí, que no sepan, eh, se esforcen a estudiar más, porque entonces uno dice, no sé cómo decir esto, pero, ok, pregunto o lo busco y ya después, ok, se dice así. Entonces, ustedes van como adquiriendo más vocabulario. Entonces, pues, eh, de mi parte, mi feedback para usted en este momento, Nelson, es que va súper bien, ¿ok? No deje de participar en las clases, eh, no se desmotive, siga aprendiendo. Eh, creo que va súper bien. Eh, no sé si tiene alguna pregunta de algún tema que no haya comprendido hasta el momento, algo que me quiera preguntar en este momento. No, no, de todos los temas que hemos visto, todo bien. Eso sí, agradecerle por las dinámicas y todo eso, créame que se agradece. Éxito okay. para usted como profesora. Este, sí he sentido el cambio en cuanto al, digamos, lo básico a intermedio. Sí, sí. he sentido el cambio, la verdad, sí, desde el, la primera clase lo sentí. Okay. Y he sentido también ese, bueno, ok, sentí el cambio, pero sentí también el, el apoyo. O sea, te estoy topando más, por decirlo así, pero te estoy ayudando con eso. Sí. O sea, por ejemplo, esto de los, los grammar, los audios aquí, las dinámicas de audios, eh, mm. stop the bus, todo eso. O sea, eh, me ayuda a despertar el hámster, vea. Correcto. Y ese uh -huh. es el propósito, ¿verdad? Que ustedes pues eh, logren como hacer trabajar. ¿Verdad? Su cerebro, porque es lo que uno debe de, de hacer cuando está aprendiendo el idioma. Sí. Ahora, eh, la única observación que tengo que le escuché cuando estaba hablando inglés es cuando, recuerde que cuando utilizamos los eh, verbos modales, como por ejemplo, can, 
¿verdad? De poder. Y usted quiere decir, eh, puedo jugar basketball, por ejemplo. Entonces, en este caso, vamos a decir, I can play. No, I, I can, can to play. El to no va. Sí. Sí, sí right. eso sí se me ha metido, fíjese. Uh -huh. Soy sincero. Sí, es que le escuché decir I can to eh, y un verbo, pero no recuerdo el verbo. Uh -huh. Sí, la seguidilla de los dos verbos se me ha quedado. Sí. Ajá, pero eh, eso no, ¿ok? okay. Con los verbos modales no, ¿sí? Entonces, sí. bueno, bien, Nelson, eh, por el momento pues me agrada bastante que se sienta cómodo con las clases y que vaya aprendiendo y que de igual manera pues el objetivo se logre al final de este mes, que vamos a hacer en marzo ya casi, solo nos faltan como dos semanas, creo yo. Sí. Eh, entonces, eh, pues espero yo que haya pues avanzado un poquito, ¿verdad? Y que siga aprendiendo el idioma y que por el momento cualquier duda, algo que usted me quiera comentar, recuerde trabajar la plataforma que no se le olvide. Sí. Ok, entonces pues ahí estoy. Me puede mandar un mensaje a mi WhatsApp personal o al grupo, como usted pues lo desee. Cualquiera de las dos maneras pues es, es, es eh, lo mejor. Entonces cualquier duda, usted me la hace saber. Ok. Sí, gracias. Ahí. Okay, un gusto. So I'll gracias. see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a good night. Bye night. bye. bye, -bye.